What's going on YouTube family? Austin Zayback coming back to you with another video. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about which car I liked better, my Audi R8 or my Lamborghini Uragon. Okay, I probably pronounced that wrong for all of you Lamborghini fans out there. Uh, don't hold me accountable to the way I just pronounced that. Uh, but let's talk about which one I liked better. Obviously, I've only owned two exotic cars in my life, and two, both cars are vastly different. Different years, different makes, different models, different everything. The Audi R8 was older, the Lamborghini is newer. I understand. Uh, I just wanted to make a video and just chat with you guys a little bit about uh, which one I liked better, right? Uh, so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video if it's something you're interested in. But um, here's the thing. I think an Audi R8 is a more practical daily driver, okay? Um, in my opinion, okay? It sits up a little bit higher. You can go over speed bumps a little easier. Um, you know, it's a, if you get the newer one, it can, it's a V10 potentially. I think it's a very similar engine, if not the same engine, as what my Lamborghini Uracon has in it. My Lamber, or my, sorry, my Audi R8 had a V8 engine in it. So, you know, uh, take that with a grain of salt. But uh, guys, that said, I think the, the R8 was a little more practical as a daily driver. Now, I still drive my Lamborghini pretty often. I daily drive it. You know, I go to Chipotle every now and then, go to the gym, do things like that. And uh, it's not bad, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a Uracon. It's not an Aventador or anything like that. So it's a pretty small car still in the grand scheme of things here. And, uh, you know, it's not terrible, but the R8 definitely was easier. So, yeah, in that aspect, I think the R8 definitely wins a point, okay? Um, guys, the R8 is definitely cheaper. Okay, uh, for me, the R8, uh, the operating cost was cheaper, uh, the buying cost was cheaper, insurance was cheaper, uh, maintenance was cheaper. Pretty much everything about the Audi R8 was cheaper. Okay, so uh, that's definitely a big plus for the Audi R8. Um, you know, I guess if you're looking for that like attention, you want everybody to, like break their neck and look at you when you're driving down the street. Obviously, Lamborghini is going to be your car. Um, everybody knows what a Lamborghini is, um, and you know that's probably going to be your car. So, you know, if you're looking at just that aspect, you know, definitely a Lamborghini is going to be for you. Okay, um, you know, they're both really great cars. Okay, they really truly are. I loved both of them. Both of them served a great purpose. Um, if you've never owned an exotic, you know, starting out with an Audi R8. Uh, or a GTR or something like that might be a little bit more practical for you in the beginning and then eventually moving your way to a Lamborghini and then you can kind of work your way up. You know what I've noticed is kind of fun is working your way up instead of jumping all the way to that you know, Aventador or McLaren or whatever and then it's like what, what are you going to buy after that? Like what's your next goal? I mean what are you going to go? A P1? Bugatti? I mean you know, you can, you, you got to start leveling up really fast now. So what's kind of cool about buying like an R8 or a GTR or maybe an M3, M4, you know, like an entry level exotic in the beginning, uh, I guess a pro to doing that as well would be you can kind of work your way up the exotic ladder and enjoy it as time goes along as you make more money and have more success in your life. So uh, that would be another pro to probably buying an Audi R8 or something like that to begin with. Uh, definitely cool, more of a subtle car. But still, people know what an Audi R8 is. Uh, people are still going to want to get pictures with you and all that fun stuff. So uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I, I love both of the cars. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited that I have the Lamborghini. It's going to be a very fun car to own. I've owned it for about a month and a half now. If you're watching this video right when I posted it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any more questions, you guys, it's a really short video, I know. If you want me to go into more detail on the Lamborghini versus the Audi R8, I will in a future video. I just wanted to make a quick video and chat with you about what I just chatted with you about. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I would love to make more videos like that, though, if you want them. So definitely drop in the comment section down below if you want more like that or more real estate, social media, or whatever the case is. I'm happy to make a video for you uh, if you recommend it in the, in the comment section down below. Guys, I, I really want to do that for you. So. Um, um, you know, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.